Friends, our Earth is continuously spinning on its axis. This is the very reason we experience phenomena like day and night. But what if the Earth's rotation comes to a halt? Will the concept of day and night completely cease to exist? Will we be stuck in perpetual daylight or darkness? But hold on, second by second. How do you determine whether you'll survive when Earth stops spinning? Yes, I'm telling you this even before the video begins. If, due to some unfortunate event, the Earth stops rotating, one part of your body will end up in one side of the world and the other part in the opposite side. Life and death are a play of the divine. Who, when, where one may go, who knows? My child, let it go. Today I will tell you what effects this will have on Earth if it suddenly stops rotating. Believe me, you've never even thought about such things happening to you. Let's start with today's explosive episode. Friends, the very first and simple thing I want to tell you is that if the Earth suddenly stops rotating, your weight will increase. Yes, your weight will increase because your weight depends on gravity and the centripetal force that gets cancelled on it. But this is the smallest of your worries. It's due to the Earth's rotation that we are enjoying our good life today. Above the equator, everything and everyone is spinning at around 465 meters per second. But a big question arises here. If our Earth is continuously spinning, why don't we feel it? After all, when we're driving a car at 100 kilometers per hour, it's obvious that we feel like we're moving fast. Why doesn't this happen with the Earth's rotation? Well, let me explain. Since we live on Earth, everything happening on Earth is also happening on us. Just as Earth is rotating continuously, we are also rotating at the same speed. Now, Albert Einstein's theory of relativity comes into play. When we're on the same plane, noticing changes in each other becomes nearly impossible but suddenly stopping the Earth's rotation won't be any less than a catastrophe. Things that were not part of Earth will start moving at a speed of over a thousand kilometers per hour on its surface. Oh, life and death are truly a game of the divine. Who, when, and where one may go, who knows? So, let's move on. If such a thing were to happen, the effects on Earth would be enormous. Believe me, You've never imagined such things happening to you. Let's get started with today's intriguing episode. So what will happen if the Earth suddenly stops its rotation? Well, for starters, due to Earth's size, the velocity of its rotation isn't noticeable to us. Because of Earth's size, we don't feel the velocity of its rotation. Just like when we're in a car going at 100 kilometers per hour, we feel like we're going fast. But here's the catch. Imagine you're in a big truck moving at nearly zero velocity. It's the same with Earth. Its rotation velocity isn't noticeable to us. This explains why we don't feel like we're spinning even though we're moving at the same velocity as Earth. If this is happening now, why don't we fly straight into the air? The answer to this lies in the central seeking central pedal force generated by gravity. Now, the central pedal force you need such as staying in a circular path around the Earth, gets subtracted by Earth's gravitational pull. The remaining force only pushes you downwards, giving you your weight. Now, if Earth stops its spin at the equator, there will be no need for any central pedal force. To keep you connected to Earth, your weight would increase by about 0.3% at the equator. If Earth were to start rotating 17 times faster compared to its current speed, it would have to counteract the entire gravitational force with the central pedal force, and you would become weightless. I hope you have understood all the concepts up to this point. So let's proceed to the next part of the video. The sudden cessation of Earth's rotation is almost impossible, but its gradual slowing down is not only possible but also a reality. The fact that Earth's rotation is gradually slowing down is clear from the formation of the five billionaires formation on Earth. However, the slowing down of Earth's rotation is not very noticeable on the human timescale. But now the question arises, why is this rotation slowing down? To understand this, let's first understand why Earth rotates in the first place. 
During the formation of our universe, a lot of dust and gases were coming together due to gravity, and these gases and dust were spinning in circular motion. As planets and stars formed, they also started rotating in circular motion. Imagine Earth as an individual object whose spinning is gradually getting faster. When an external force does not slow down this spin, its speed keeps increasing. Over time, other objects in the solar system came closer to us, including the Moon. You may have heard that the Moon is responsible for the formation of waves and tides. Due to the gravitational pull of our Moon, Earth's rotation speed slowed down, allowing the development of life on Earth. Did you know that according to the fossil record, about 4 billion years ago, a day on Earth was 18 hours long? Our moon is moving away from Earth by about 3.78 centimeters per year. This causes the moon's gravitational pull on Earth to weaken, leading to the gradual decrease in Earth's rotation speed. Almost 140 million years from now, a day on Earth will be not 24 hours, but 25 hours long. I acknowledge that this change is very slow, and observing it within our or the next 10 generations' lifetimes is nearly impossible. However, it is also true that eventually, Earth's rotation will slow down noticeably. After almost 140 million years, a day on Earth will be 25 hours long. Now let's consider the implications of these changes. As the Moon continues to move away from Earth and its gravitational pull weakens, Earth's rotation will continue to slow down. This might have various effects on the planet's climate, ecosystems, and more. It's difficult to predict exactly how these changes will impact Earth's habitability over such a long time scale. Nonetheless, it's fascinating to think about the future of our planet in the context of these cosmic events.